Then go to blow you down and miss you. And hit a baby. Hit one of these babies or one of these kids. So I took and started Capital for Car Point, the non for profit organization which is, which is geared to helping the youth and creating brighter futures for Chicago's future leaders. And that's what we do. I mean, we've partnered, right? So in this interview and from this point on, any interview that I do, she's just as much as involved or as important to what we, what I'm trying to do. You know, in fact, I couldn't do what I'm trying to do without her assistance. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, in my head, I have a vision for us. You understand what I'm saying? And she might have one. My name is Mrs. Eddings. My organization is a nonprofit organization. It is called It's Possible Learning Hub. We were founded probably about a couple years ago. I started mobile tutoring and I would go to the homes and tutor um, lots of children until my load kind of went overflowing for me. My mother, whom I lost um, probably three months ago before she passed away, she said, well, why don't you just open up your center? And I said, really? Open up a center? I planned to do it, but I didn't plan to do it this quickly. And I ended up following in her footsteps. She's a Chicago um, public school teacher over 20 years. And I'm so honored to follow in her footsteps. Never thought I would want to be a teacher, but I love it. When the pandemic came, before the pandemic, it was about just the kids, putting things together for the kids, the, the tournaments, the, the, the camps, and cabin for couple entertainment this and that but once the pandemic came we came up with cabin for couple COVID-19 food relief we fed the community for 19 weeks out of our pocket so now in the, in the interim of it I heard on the radio one more I wrote the number down I called her and she explained to what she does and how she tutored and blah blah so I'm not thinking about partnering or nothing like that. I'm like getting her together. Whatever it takes to get her together. However, I don't even have the money, but whatever it takes to get it, I'm gonna come up with the money and I'm gonna get it together. So I got to thinking. She said, she said she's a non-for-profit organization. I'm a non-for-profit organization. Well, maybe we can partner and do something. I said, you know what? All our kids, I'm looking at these kids, they didn't feel behind with this virtual learning because it's babies having babies. If a 21 year old got a six year old or a five year old and she's not computer literate and the baby don't know how to sign in on her own, guess what? Baby ain't gonna get no, she ain't getting no virtual learning. It affects her because she's a year behind because of the pandemic. Let alone how far she was behind before the pandemic. Our children are falling behind. They're falling behind, and that's why I decided to open up a facility where e-learners can come. Focus. Focus. Even if they log on, you know, their focus is, is not there. I have some kids who are not at grade level, lots of them not at grade level. When they log on, they'll just click out automatically when the teachers start asking questions and asking them to read, and they do not want to apply their knowledge which they can do it, they just need to be taught and to, to be helped, you know, to be more motivated to get them through it. Now, in the meantime, between time, these two are my, the big and little ones, you know what I mean? They, I, want, I, I want the best for them, you understand what I'm saying? And they fall, I see the, the virtual learning, I see them falling behind, and the big one don't want to tell me she didn't fail in the class, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling. The way I came up, it don't matter if you're feeling. Just don't lie to me. Tell me what it is. Let's fix it. That's what I'm here for. Let's fix it. I said, I heard on the radio about tutoring. Tutoring, she needs this. Because I sponsor her. She's a pretty good basketball player. I sponsor her, pay for camps, her to go to practice, gym shoot, everything. But we can't for the help you better yourself. 
we can't better yourself if you're not keeping it 100 with me. And if you're not doing okay in school, I got to have some grades. At since this pandemic, we're taking on the role as helping be educators to our youth. Then we're going to get back to our summer fundamental boys and girls basketball camp, our tournaments, and continuing to uplift the youth and pull them out of this stuck state of you got to kill somebody, you got to shoot somebody, you got to, you know what I mean? And continue to help feed the community so that we can basically beg them for the help that we're giving them. It's okay. It's okay for you not to be my kid and, 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 or you tell my kid you better get on in the house. Or, it's okay for that. It's time to bring that back. Yeah. It's time to bring that back without me getting shot for telling you that. As parents, it's time for us to take precedence over our children and what they're doing. At our facility, we have e-learners. Our remote learners come here and they learn and we help them with their assignments. We help keep them on track and parents are very happy to drop their children off and to pick their children up. We also provide tutoring for them once they're done with their sessions in school. We provide tutoring for them that parents sign up for. And we also have, uh, we open tutoring up for other um, parents who want to sign their children up as well. So we're very excited to be a part of this journey and to partner up with Captain for Capo. So now I put my, my, my team on. I say, listen, call Miss, Miss Edding and see if you can come up with something a price or something that'll help us, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pay for these two. But see if you can come up with a price to make us, we can help, you understand what I'm saying? My man is very uh, engineering and creating things. He say, B, we can, uh, what if we do a fundraiser? Okay, what you wanna raise? He said, well, let's see what it's got. A thousand dollars, a little under that to pay for 10 kids with the price that she gave us. You know what I'm saying? They come for our two days before that, a girl just gave me 500. But she's giving it to me towards our scholarship fund. Ah, the scholarship fund ain't where I want, you understand? This is going to get us to the scholarship fund because we want the same kids that come through this tutoring be able to walk away with a Catholic for Capo scholarship after the progress has been made from year to year, month to month, whatever, you understand what I'm saying? If they meet the criteria, then we want to be able to send them away to school with a Catholic for Capo scholarship. And that's my ultimate goal with this organization. We're out there advertising. We're out there doing the legwork. We are out there communicating at churches and talking to our families so they can get on board so we can be of more of assistance. Um, they're with their children, that's that one-on-one. -on -one. Some parents like, oh, but they're already doing remote learning. But it's a difference when you have that one-on-one -on -one right there in front of you. We use all sorts of resources for our children and it enhances the learning. It enhances the learning. We mobile tutor, we virtual, we do in-person. Um, we, we do a lot. And that's our ultimate goal is to continue on making a difference in our community. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible, yes. This is where it becomes a whole different ball game for us. So that's why, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm in the position of, I don't even, I wouldn't even want to do an interview if she can't have nothing to do with it, or if she can't speak in it, or she can't give her opinion, her vision, her mission, what, you understand what I'm saying? Because clearly I'm sure she has some, some woes of this not, doing anything or just not being anything or just not materializing into anything because we all do that's only that that's that's a humanistic a humanistic characteristic for you to always think oh, i will never make it or it might not or it might you understand what i'm saying but once the first goal was met and i talked to her i heard in her voice what i wanted to hear because it was in me what i wanted to hear from my team but we're doing this now it's not a point of can we do it if it, it's a point of taking control? It's going to happen. Now it's going to, how big is it going to get? You understand what I'm saying? Because this is, this is, this is real life, 
this is life on living life on life terms, not on our terms. You know what I'm saying? In my story, I live life on my terms. It was my way or the highway. We at Capital for Capital Inc. have a special opportunity for you all to directly impact our youth. Goal is to assist as many students as possible who has fallen behind because of this virtual learning, K through 12. We have teamed up with It's Possible Learning Hub to provide at-risk learners with free tutoring with your help. Head over to our website, capinforcapo.org, to donate and get us closer to our goal. A $20 donation will provide a student with one hour of free tutoring. This is how you cap for capo. You give back to your community and help, your ki help the kids. Thank you.